Hi, this is Larry Jordan. Let's answer another Final Cut Studio question. Ron asks a second question under the Sequence Settings Video Processing menu. All right, so let's... It's under the User Preferences, but we'll do it here. Notice I selected a timeline. I go up to the Sequence menu, go down to Settings. What does the Video Processing tab do? It's the second tab into Final Cut. There's actually three sections here. There's the Render section, the Maximum White section, and the Motion Filtering section. If you're working with any form of video, any form of video, you are always in what, what Apple calls YUV space. It isn't actually YUV, it's actually YCBCR, but nobody can spell that, so we're just going to call it YUV. YUV is an analog standard, but it works. It means video. If you're working in video, you're in YUV. If you are dealing with a series of still images which are created in Photoshop, then you'd render in RGB. But 99.9761% of the time, we're in YUV space. So which of these three YUV spaces should you do? If you want your renders to be fast, then you render in 8-bit YUV. If you want your renders to be accurate, now here there's a relative term, then you'd want to render in high precision, but your render times are about ready to double. My feeling is, if all you're doing is transitions, an 8-bit YUV render for 8-bit material, which is AVC HD and HDV and, and everything except AVC Intra and um, ProRes and HD Cam, everything else is 8-bit. Render in 8-bit, it's fast. If you're doing color correction or gradient work, then just before you do your final output, change this render setting to render all YUV material in high precision YUV. This recalculates all your render files. You're going to have to re-render the whole project, but it's going to redo it with greater quality. Most of the time, speed is more important than quality, so leave the default setting in 8-bit. For those rare instances where you really want to have the highest possible image quality, think digital projection, then render all your YUV material in high precision, especially if you've done color correction. It'll make a difference. But for most stuff that's going to the web, 8-bit YUV will be fine. Leave this default setting as white, as opposed to super white. This is a good choice. Uh, it won't hurt anything. It definitely benefits stuff. We'll talk more about that later. Motion filtering. This can be left set to normal. This only affects two settings. If you are scaling something inside the timeline, or you are rotating, so if you're using the Motion tab and you're scaling, changing the size, or rotating, what this does is this minimizes stair-stepping inside a scaled or rotating object, flickering, stair-stepping, blockiness. Most of the time, normal is fine. But for the final pass, set this to best, set this to high precision, and you're going to get the highest quality render. Long time, probably two and a half times longer to render, but higher quality, smoother images, better results. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.